the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Libro zoso predike shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradishila. Exodus chapter 10, verse 7. 10, verse 7. We are reading down to 10. Please hurry up, media. Help us. And Pharaoh's servant said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto you? Let the men go, that they may do what? This is the reason why they have to go. There is a motif for liberty. There is a motif for prosperity. There is a motive for advancement. He said, let my people go that they may go and keep it their place and serve the Lord their God. Then he says, knowest thou not that Egypt is destroyed? Read on. Next verse. 8. And Moses said unto, and Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh. And he said unto them, go, serve the Lord your God. But then he began to negotiate. He said, but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened he says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men will come with the head of the king 
or drag him together and they will sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they will gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do i've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm I, I told you what the Lord told me here while I was praying. He said, trust me and watch your situation turn around. It doesn't take time. It only takes faith. When you trust God, he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you. Tell my people. Please sit down. As always, you have a role to play. Everyone listen to me. The role you have to play is your commitment to serving God listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own times no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of God this is where many Christians authorize Satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are Egypt and the Lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say lord i am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books i want to buy the books are we together i can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and god says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me god says that's the kind of prayer that i like i say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for god and to serve him are we together 
versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us god wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters it says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life he says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um, you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you death sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it and wondering can god change it there are many of us in situations that only god in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a god in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that god in heaven there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motive your motive your motive oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something this issue of committal to serve god this committal to follow and pursue hard after god is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me 
and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house i desire thy prosperity and god says that's it you've satisfied the condition to see my hand lord heal my body i want to serve in your house but the department i want to join requires energy and lord i have found out that i have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and god says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving god it has become god's enemy is god's own fight let me tell you how to join god and satan you service let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back and god says whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy including a man are we together now when he when 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 the captain of the host of israel appeared before joshua he said are you for us or against you? he said all that is nonsense whoever is on god's side is the person i'm for if you are against god i strike you if you are for god we are a team god is not a christian god is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of god your heart is god preaching to someone tonight lord i want you to launch me far i want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and god says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all these kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motive you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and god says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and i will not release do you know my 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 project with god is to come to a point where god is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me i want to get to that level of trust with god where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is god's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question god is asking lord i used to sing well but then i had an infection that destroyed my voice and god says but i've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and god says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motive is not intact forget about the experience of the power of god are we together now say lord say it everybody lord i declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me i vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back No turning back I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back No turning back the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, hey, no turning back. Don't man forsake me, still.
till I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. Come on, sing it before him. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Hey, I have decided It's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus. He said, I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God. I'm not talking of self-perfection. I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life. No way. There are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of god talk about passion for jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for god's sake what else will i be doing with my life if not lifting up his name jesus i lift up your name jesus i lift up your name that's what i do for a living jesus i lift up your name yeah jesus i lift up your name Time to lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this, don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother is your heart God is looking for. Not tithe, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you're... Uh, David danced before God. And his wife said, Abba King. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Did he read any book? I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne and now because I am here you carry your dignity the Bible says God had him all and that woman died barren it was not the devil that made her barren let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you 
because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should i give my life to jesus i want to be the god of my own self so you manage your life by yourself i want to be the god of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself i want to be the god of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of god then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until god vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with god there is a dimension brothers and sisters where god vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure what you will become in 2019 no Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen I want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to Jesus is not an initiation into a religion called Christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders <laughs> from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not 10 gods there is one god hear ye o israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men 
which one are you talking about the drunkard there the smoker there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it elijah said i'm the only one god said keep quiet there are seven thousand others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here god wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because god needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that god must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when god does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of god find expression so if god wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says i'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father i'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no i'm i'm too i'm too i want to marry now god please go somewhere he comes to your sister i'm looking for men there's no time to look for god and god says i want to step into this family no one has given me space if god can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he would get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. Four, keep coming. 
don't say there's no space even if you have to line up outside no problem this is your salvation with god greater than any miracle tonight just find somewhere to stand if the place is full keep lining up there right outside five someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle i'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that i've not declared jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure i know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved lord i know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me i see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days I will live for you I will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night I hand over my life to you say it again I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of God I'm separated from them this night. I declare that the joy of salvation 
and a peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost i speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation we roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the message of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah please coordinate them coordinate them let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you hey, i never see anyone Wait, Sam, help me. Like I never see anyone like you. 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 I never see anyone like you.
please everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny give me strange results lift your voice and begin to pray visit me in the name of Jesus visit me step into my destiny step into my destiny step into my destiny hallelujah in the name of Jesus shout it again in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long-standing challenges are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any two shall agree, as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Pray, pray. Rata sona rata kene bala bala shaba bala bala bala. Rata 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 shaba bala bala bala. hallelujah hallelujah you are still holding your hands say in the name of Jesus father tonight take away shame take away mockery from my life my family and my neighbor lift your voice and pray seriously Roll away the reproach. Papa, Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit 
behind the tragedies in my life in my destiny and my family expose them tonight lift your voice and pray for the light shines in darkness pray for the light shines in darkness let your light shine oh God Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives, come my dear, when a spirit, listen carefully, when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I don't care what you do physically. Remember spiritual intelligence. You can be doing the right physical things, but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo, representing a covenant, an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry 
I prayed over the father's picture. I've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that, but you could look at the leg and see the bone. The bone, the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone. What happened to the man? He went to bed in the night. Brothers and sisters, I think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. You want to move forward but there is an embargo. The solution is not counseling. You need an encounter with power. Everybody say power. Listen, the power of the Holy Spirit is not a negotiator. It's an enforcer. When the power of God comes, it does not ask you whether you want to be free. Your assignment is to be open till it reaches you. When it comes, it scatters anything that does not look like God. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. I will pray for you now. The Spirit of God is upon me. Lift your hands, everyone. There are people here right now. I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. Are we together? When that happens, then we'll take it off from there. That's the first thing God wants to do tonight. Just lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And there are people and families and those following on, online. Except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay. That spirit must leave you. Are we together? So keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, wherever they are right now, I stretch my hands. According to the instructions you have given me, inside and outside. Right now, I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay. Keep your hands lifted. Shalakataya. Bring them out. Outside. There. Just the angels of the Lord are walking. I'm seeing like smoke. Just moving across lines. Line by line. Inside and outside. When it comes to you. When you are under that influence. That's the end of it. Right now. I command it. The word of the Lord is upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. No instruments. Don't play anything. Outside. There is massive deliverance happening. Separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it Bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now Malata Sadaba Secretes Kebarite Shobra Hasaya. Bring them. I see people outside. Kai. My God. 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 
many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone self tell me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks padlocks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me padlocks opening 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 right now I open them I'm under the shadow of yours your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. your hands fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me i'm under 
the shadow of your own everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of Jesus please say it seriously say in the name of Jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the Lord as I shout the name Jesus I command you to live my life at the count of three shout Jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting I command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain Hallelujah. Or shall I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name? Because what I see now is not a nice thing. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil causing sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice. And they are giving somebody, everybody a substance. Like a drink. Something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I combated. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother. I don't know. They she brought somebody, and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I command that covenant, Jesus. that demonic thing, tying your life. In this miracle service, it lives now. In the name of Jesus. You too? Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are from Kogi State. The same thing. Hold my hands. Look at me. I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke. Please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, you two. Come, make sure that, so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out! Be free now. Out! I'm interested in this lady. Please, stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. 
the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the Lord is asking me to wave my hands. Lord, as you have said, I see snakes in cages. Whose destiny is that? Right now, whose destiny is that? I wave my hands. In the name of Jesus, please release them for your glory. Release them now. Help them, please, Jesus Christ. Inside, outside. Be out of that cage now. I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane. Like J A N E. Jane, Jane, Jane. I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane, your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. Is it Kaza Chat? Who is that? Kaza Chat. I'm hearing that name. That's, that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza Chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Please, if that is your name, you are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why. It's you. 
the rest of you are but please i want you to believe the moment i lay my hands on you something will happen the lord is saying i should start with you lord open her door now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands reproach leaves your life now in the name of jesus christ reproach leaves your life now by the power of the holy ghost reproach leaves your life now reproach leaves your life now hold my hands call your parents and tell them the lord is giving them breakthrough your family your entire family delta state breakthrough right now in the name of jesus christ hold on. A serious witchcraft over your life hold my hands lord the lord is asking me to walk with you this is how your destiny is opening up that's what the lord is asking me to do walk with you to walk with you something is happening it's a prophetic act you will not help her to walk with you opens in the name of jesus your destiny opens up now in the name of jesus christ lift your hands this girl lift your hands where you are i'm seeing wind around you and the lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now i release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them. Receive it right now, wherever you are. Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gatai. Lekate pras kata barato shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. Seth said the lord is stepping into his life right now said is there someone with that name said have you found the mama i'm talking about don't worry let them come let them come doesn't matter with your daughter <laughs> Mama, Kai, there is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I'm living in Wusasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher okay Kai, this is not the set i'm seeing no i will pray for you but i'm seeing someone else eh? please don't be embarrassed i want to pray for somebody now huh because i'm seeing an accident killing you and you took what's the name of this thing they take we we and you were high you were about to cross the road and then i'm seeing a truck with the name angote on it just running and killing you there is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt it's jeans who is that no no there, there's another come out i will pray for you 
this this is not the only guy just keep them here i will pray for him i'm seeing another person outside the second overflow you are standing on the road the spirit of god is speaking to you speaking to you this thing they roll and they smoke and then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction indian hem whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed please usher uh, direct them so that they come here i'm seeing up to five ladies in this group up to five ladies come don't be ashamed don't let anyone laugh at you please this is a miracle service join them we oui, we oui. codeine whatever it is join them whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not come and join them please quickly that addiction must be broken now who can stand against the lord no one can no one will keep coming the devil is a liar who can stand against our king no one can, no one will. Oh, 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 please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problems with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now assuming a brother has been trusting god to marry this sister do you think the brother will marry her please help me do you think he will marry her you look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant but she's not pregnant Kai. there is a lady who has refused to come out the power of god is going to come upon her outside you are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about 
I, I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. The power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? Yes, I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Yamuke. Do you hear how, sir? Okay. This is your daughter. Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure to say you must. Whatever language is comfortable, speak it. If I don't understand, we'll find somebody to interpret. Please, don't put yourself under pressure and say no. We are excellent people, but we are not fools. We can't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. Mommy, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing restoration to your life. This is what I am seeing. And the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Can I pray for you, ma'am? I will pray for you. I have to pray. I'm seeing, not you, but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident. Traveling to Abuja and having an accident. We have to pray. I'm not saying it will happen. Once God reveals it is broken. Lord Jesus, stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy. You don't have to know her. Please stretch your hands and pray. Lord, we avert death. We avert death now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we avert death. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama. Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda. Something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda. Something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand anybody that is not designed by god i separate you and him forever say amen in jesus name gracilda gracilda i'm hearing gracilda something Hilda. please if it's not you no problem but that's what i'm hearing mama let's pray in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. 
in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance Lord set them free right now right now right now I'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobari atas kabandabria legetege basharatos kabridia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ please shoot for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ Open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors. That's what the Lord is saying. Open doors. The Lord has said you have waited too long. It's time for the door of your destiny to be open. Open doors. Come. There is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you. Hold my hands. Leave her now. Out. Out. When bad boys see you, they can't leave you. As they are passing, they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my colleague you are a meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you huh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come Lift your legs. Go ahead. You are a soldier. Lift your legs. Look at this. Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Lift your cross up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but there is not healing. 
from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force Ah? Huh? yes sir. I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir. I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters I want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirit I'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what I'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is, a, is like a hospital stretch your hands I will lay my hands on every one of them Please, all of you should pray I want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned Jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out In the name of Jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be set free be set free as soon as I lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you i'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of our life now in the name of jesus i break that addiction ah. hey jimmy come the lord is saying you should pray for this guy he will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God, but this addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You're a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not, come and stand here. Particular pain reliever. You can't help it. You can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it. It's a spirit. Pain reliever. I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital. God is visiting addictions this night. Quickly, come. Don't sit back and say, I'm all right. Allow God set you free. Let them come. Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There 
there's one of you fire is coming on you now after that fire comes on you then i'll pray for the rest that's the instruction god is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach god is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of jesus christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the holy ghost addiction is broken now in the name of jesus christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of jesus christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life i command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the holy spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of jesus christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the lord now praise the lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up i want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute god can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray i'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart lord i will not have to write this again pray i've written it the bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray i'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the god of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray Shalakata prata katosa pretiash. Le prende kosoto prato kasha prati karabalarabash. In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is the last of the prayer request that I'm having to write concerning this issue. Hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment jesus i present to you impossible situations according to men and i ask you turn it around now turn it around now turn it around now let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now every case here said by men to be impossible we we collide that case with the power of god and we produce testimonies now who 
whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now whoever must hear god for this prayer to be answered hears god now father i pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony May the fire and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we are in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring God wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him God wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of God for performance for performance not just that you had God and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what I'm saying? As I speak over your life now, among the many things I want to speak, right now, I want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance. Many of you may not know what this anointing is. Listen carefully. Lift your hands. He said, who has ever heard that a city was built in one day? But as soon as Zion travels, there is a grace that is coming upon the people of God. Hear me. For performance. He said, blessed is she that believes. For unto her, not unto them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is not a corporate thing. Unto her there shall be. There are many things God has said that has not come to pass. There is a grace that engenders performance. I prophesy to you now. In the name of of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance performance Performance, shake it in the butter. La prete get the soto ropa shiata. Grace for performance. Every.
everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by God I decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by God I put fire upon your feet and I command speed now I put fire upon your feet I command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say I'm too small. Receive it. Don't be foolish. In the name of Jesus, you must be a participant. Listen, I tell you, brothers and sisters, please write this down. You will see a strange rising. Rising. Write this down. You will say I said it. Nothing to some, I mean, mysteriously. People will have to ask what is happening. It is a grace. There is a grace that makes it happen. I'm not talking of business. I'm talking about the suffering word of God upon the life of a man. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Please pay attention. Those following online, pay attention. If you know someone who belongs to these categories, even if not you, please pay attention for their sake. Hallelujah. There are not many things that can discourage a Christian. Please listen carefully. Um, but the few things that can discourage a Christian, when they are there and they remain, the effect of their presence can be disastrous. I have identified two major um, issues if I would say that discourage Christians number one is on answered prayer there's almost nothing more frustrating to a believer who genuinely loves God as a tragedy of unanswered prayer that people lift up their voice to heaven believing that God is alive releasing all their faith as much as they know and then not getting the answer that should be. Number two, 
is an unfruitful Christian life. An unfruitful Christian life. That means that when your life with time is void of certain evidences that should be testaments of your service, your work to, for God. It's very, very frustrating when a believer gets born again and opens up his heart, serving the Lord, giving his best, and then with time cannot see um, the evidences. There are evidences, testaments that help us and help believers around us to appreciate the hand of God upon our lives. So unanswered prayers and then an unfruitful Christian life. Now write this down, please. There is a goal. Let me start with those who are severely being attacked by the gate of hell. There is a goal. There is an object behind every attack of Satan. Listen carefully. That every time hell launches an attack on an individual, on a ministry, on a family, on a couple, there is something behind the thinking of the devil and his cohorts. And the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to what Satan is really looking for. And if you do not understand, then you will continually be defeated by all of the, the attacks of Satan. The first goal behind every attack, the first thing the devil seeks to achieve is to destroy your confidence in God and the integrity of his word please never forget this that every time the devil attempts to attack a believer he is attempting to attack your confidence in god and the integrity of his word what satan is really attacking is the integrity of god's word what satan is attacking is your confidence in god the bible says to cast not away your confidence why because it has a great recompense of reward are we together your confidence in god i don't know if i've shared it here but i remember i was in just for a meeting when i met a gentleman who was talking to me about his dad and he told me his dad was once a reverend in one of these great denominations around and having been frustrated repeatedly in the field the man not only turned away from God he made up his mind that he was going to move to another faith entirely he was so frustrated no school fees for his children no meaning for his life nothing seemed to work and he said look I've served this God I've preached about this God but I'm going to have to stop lying to myself it does not work you will think that you may never get to a point where you can consider this. Let me tell you something. Life has a way of pushing a man, a family, an individual to a point where you will doubt the reality of God. Was it not John the Baptist under pressure who said, go and ask him if he's the Messiah or should we expect another? For John to be thinking of another, as the person who ordained Jesus, he should tell you what situations and circumstances can do. Are we together? So your confidence in God and the integrity of his word. Number two, the goal of every attack is to introduce the spirit of fear. This subject of fear is very, very, very important. You will be amazed at how many believers have been utterly destroyed because they became the victims of fear. The Bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion. There is a reason why he says that. Fear is terrible. It's a destructive spirit. Every other spirit stands in the line waiting for fear to open the door. No other spirit can open any door that fear does not open. Failure waits for fear to open the door. Death waits for fear to open the door. Discouragement waits for fear. All the spirits line up with the potentials of the havoc they can wreak. 
but then they wait for fear a man who conquers fear has conquered many spirits automatically the bible says and to deliver them who through fear the fear of death now have all their lifetime been subject to bondage praise the lord fear believers live in fear fear of the unknown fear of this and that and that and that today you see young people even teenagers having high blood pressure this is something that a teenager should have no business with ordinarily but fear 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 of the future how will tomorrow be how will this happen how will that happen and that fear creates a lot of worry matthew chapter 6 jesus took out time to teach and explain again and again on the fruitlessness of worry he said which of you by worrying can add even a cubit to his hair he said consider the lilies of the valley consider the birds of the air they break a fundamental law of sowing and reaping yet your father your heavenly father is benevolent enough to make sure they are not hungry please listen very carefully sooner or later in your christian experience hell will be interested in you i guarantee you except you do not love the lord and you do not keep growing a time will come when the impact that you continue to make will attract the attention of hell who is this young man who wants to rise and do what has never been done in this family for as long as you remain down that's all right but then you you it's like a it's like a spiritual thermometer there is a level when you rise to you attract the attention of hell and they say what is going on here if we allow this young moses he can tomorrow be the deliverer do not take the baby for granted kill him while he's a baby don't allow him grow the potentials of his growth can be dangerous and so discouragement comes discouragement so many believers listen so many families have had especially in this time that we live in their faith shaken discouraged students are discouraged workers discouraged graduates discouraged pastors discouraged church members you know it looks like there is this air of discouragement and depression when you say praise the lord people cannot say hallelujah in their minds they say for what hallelujah comes from the word halal yeshua praise the one who saves that's what it means you say where is the salvation that i should praise him talk to an average believer about god he will prefer you talking about rapture than talking about the faithfulness of god don't mention that word faithful to him because he tells you i don't know what you are talking about that reality is foreign to my experience i do not yet know god as faithful faithful means keeping to your word faithful means justifying your integrity at all times please listen very carefully so believers have been attacked here and there and they think that the attack listen they think the attack is just on them just because they are christians or just because the devil does not want them to have a job or have a child and so on and so forth listen the devil is looking more than you he's he's trying to use you to make a statement to god that you are not faithful so when you read scriptures like since i was young and now i am old he says i have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread and you think of all your family members in light of this he said but this is a lie this is not true foreign to my experience and when the devil wants to make the statement stronger he will handpick serious believers he knows the impact listen the discouragement of a serious believer has more impact than that of a believer that is not serious someone who is not serious with god if he tells you things are not working you tell him what did you ever engage i mean we we watched you in in all that laziness no prayer no nothing but when a brother who has been a prayer warrior serving in church when a sister who has been serving faithfully in church two years three years no child four years no child 
Then she now gets pregnant. And everybody begins to rejoice. Then at the fifth or sixth month, she will lose the baby in a way that can cause a problem. Listen carefully. That impact, another believer will now say, my God, what is this? If you don't listen to what I'm telling you, a time will come you will not see the need to continue again. There are many believers who are sitting down but they've left God since. They are just coming to church because they know if you don't see him in church, you say, I didn't see you here yesterday. But the truth is that their hearts are not with God again. They, they are not yet bold enough to go to a herbalist. But you can be sure one leg is already coming out of the things of God. And that includes preachers. The frustration of fasting and praying for genuine spiritual power. Going around and emptying my accounts in need for impartation. Only to return back with nothing that shows I was called. When an aspect of your life has results. And then another aspect does not have results. You can at least find consolation. Listen. But when every area of your life lacks result, it's a cause for concern. Usually it will not disturb you till other brethren start saying, but why is this so? Hmm. An attack on your confidence in God. You started your Christian experience loving God. You made bold and audacious statements about God. And while you made that statement, hell kept quiet like they didn't hear you. I will never leave the Lord no matter what happens. I will stand for him. I will stand by him. It doesn't matter. And now five years without a child. And you don't have the courage to make the same statement you made ten years ago. I will never give anybody bribe to get a job. Remember you said it. And now here is a job that can reward you. Only if you can fish out 150,000, you can pay it back in a month. Your integrity is at stake. You made a statement that you will never bribe. But jobs continue to pass you again and again. Until the day your loved ones look at you and say you are a foolish portrait of a believer. Watching you is a discouragement to me. At first you would think that it did not touch you. Until you sit later on and say, but God, are you not watching? And then heaven is silent. Are we together? When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. Please listen to me. When believers consistently do not get results, they are vulnerable. They are put in a position where the, the faithfulness of God seems to be an issue that, they, that is worth debating about. Behind every attack is the desire to challenge your confidence in God. Is your desire to challenge the integrity of God's word. Hallelujah. I got a text this afternoon about um, a gentleman who killed himself or so. I, I heard the story that there was a gentleman who killed himself. And if I'm right, I was told that the gentleman's brother or relative also killed himself. Now imagine, please, ladies... Imagine that you gave birth to children who killed themselves. Not that they died. Not a car accident. Not sickness. You left your child hugging your child in the morning. And say make sure I see you in the evening. And then you see people running somewhere. And you join them thinking it's someone else's child. And there you see your child. And the testimony is that he killed himself. Think of what society will do to you. Think of what other women will say about you. Say, this woman must have been wicked. It means that you do all kinds of things. Sometimes, it seems like death is better than living. This is why people have the courage to kill themselves. And if you ignore a man that killed himself and don't help other people, very soon an entire area will begin to kill themselves. 
It's a spirit. But I've taught you how spirits work. They don't come and work with nothing. There is a raw material. They use your frustration as a raw material. They use your depression as a raw material. They create a, they, they create a system around your frustration. And that becomes the entry and the access point to your life. But we have come tonight to call the devil a liar in the name of Jesus Christ it says but I know whom I have believed hallelujah and I am persuaded listen to me it is important I will continue to teach this here koinonia it is important the depth of your spiritual foundation remember my teaching a few weeks ago that the deeper and the more solid your foundation the more unbending you will be in the face of unfavorable situation there are people who have dug so deep they have become like Paul for me to live is Christ and to die is gain what shall separate us from the love of God and then he begins to list a lot of things shall persecution shall famine shall a b and c frustration and then the spirit of fear you look around and see fear all over people's eyes fear financial fear marital fear fear of children fear of raising children It will be very irresponsible of any preacher and any man of God to ignore these truths, especially in light of the realities that are in our world today. When people begin to hang themselves, when people begin to run away in discouragement, go to the hospitals, go to the psychiatric wards and see all kinds of people, young people, talking to themselves out of depression and frustration. Something is wrong. There has to be a people who will rise and say, Satan, you are a liar. Jesus is still on the throne and our conviction, our convictions will not shake. We will not bend. Say, I reject fear. Say it again. Say, I reject fear. One more time. Say, I reject fear. Fear is a spirit. Reject it. Open your mouth in one minute. I reject fear. You are a spirit. I may not know everything about tomorrow but I know the one who holds tomorrow hallelujah he holds tomorrow I reject fear I reject fear I reject fear fear is a spirit and all spirits are received any spirit that is received can be rejected God has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of love, the spirit of power, and of a sound mind. Fear of excelling in ministry. Fear of marriage. Fear of children. Fear of the future of children. Fear of finances. How can I tell if I will live to see tomorrow? How can I tell if I will not die in a ghastly motor accident tonight? Hallelujah. Listen to me. Please look up. The believer who will never allow his confidence to be shaken and a believer who refuses to receive the spirit of fear, that is the believer that will weary Satan to victory. Literally. That you can weary the devil with your convictions. That regardless of what happens around you, you can stand in faith and say, my confidence, Lord, more than ever, I trust you. More than ever, I love you. More than ever, I will follow you as for me and my house. When a husband loses his job in one day, by the next month, the wife loses her job. By the third month, the child loses admission or something 
and three of them are seated with a Bible in the midst of them full of many promises and then they do not know what to do let me tell you something my brothers and sisters at that time heaven is watching even as hell is also watching those who will not curse God because of their pain if your pain will make you curse God you are small if your pain makes you curse God you are weak if your pain makes you curse God your foundation is not deep enough are we together Job's life kept being manipulated so that he will find offense in God even his wife said look Mr. Man this is too bad curse God and die curse God and die while I was still preparing this note this afternoon one of our precious ladies in the worship team just sent me a text and said they just told me my father has gone to be with the Lord I'm sure she woke up this morning preparing with her colleagues to celebrate the faithfulness of God tonight only to receive a report in a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that your father has died are we together now yes there is a couple I don't know if they were able to make it here but I'll be very impressed if they made it the devil has attempted to challenge the husband and the wife again and again and again and that man of God in his resilience he said something that touched me one time while we were talking he said I will never be discouraged and I will never find fault in God God is faithful this is the language that moves heaven that the devil says can't you curse God are you blind you still maintain your integrity and say God is alive I got so many text messages from our young ones who wrote jam apostle I've had you change people's jam this is what I got this is what I want to get pray and they send sometimes more than 10 times that text I believe I will die believing God is a miracle worker but the question is what if it does not change <laughs> You don't like this part of God. What if it does not change? What happens to you when your expectation does not come to pass? What happens when what you saw in your vision does not manifest physically? What happens when God tells you by March you are a millionaire and by March you don't even have a job? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You are eating this bread because the journey is far. Man of God, what happens when you start ministry with a lot of zeal? Assurances from financial partners. Just start, we are here. We believe in your vision. We will stand by you to the end. Four months, they say we've tried. Don't come near us for that rent again. I confess to you my brothers and my sisters that life can be very trying life can be trying to the point that even Jesus would cry at Gethsemane and say being in the flesh I thought it would be easier but now I've carried the burden of men and even as the son of God I confessed that men are trying surviving the betrayals and the pain surviving the nakedness and the shame now alone praying in Gethsemane Jesus wept prayed till his tears became like drops of blood is God blessing you today there is a reason behind the attack that has come is currently on you or is on the way coming let me tell you this <laughs> there are many believers who convince themselves that they are not creating any trouble 
is the reason why they never get serious with God because they hope that the devil will be busy attacking the Joshua Selmans who are causing trouble. Don't practice the foolishness of Esther. Mordecai told Esther that this plot is for all of us. It's just broken in faces. Phase one is for those outside the palace, but phase two will catch up with you. For as long as you have named the name of Christ, let me tell you, you have made yourself an arch enemy to Satan and he will come. I assure you, Jesus is fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He's done fasting and the first personality he meets is Satan. And hear what the Bible says. He departed for a season. For a what? Season. That means I'm coming. I don't mean to scare you, but I'm opening you up to the reality of living. He is coming. It's not only God that is coming. Maranatha is not just for God alone. Satan too is coming. Satan just like faith cometh. Is it not in your Bible? The thief cometh. He doesn't have to be invited. The thief cometh. To every family he will come. To every ministry he will come. To every life. Please hear me. He will come. Oh, apostle, I've been enjoying my life. Everything has been wonderful. Keep going. Keep going. The world is not too large for his presence to reach. Satan is an expert in mobility. He testified his expertise in mobility before God. Where are you coming from? He said, from to and fro the earth. That's not a problem. I can voyage as many times as it will take to meet you. He will come. Let your finances begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your children begin to glorify God. He will come. Insult me today and thank me years later, but you must listen. Let your ministry begin to glorify God. He will come. Hmm. Let your life begin to glorify God. He will come. Let your home begin to glorify God. He will come. I think it was last week or so, I had the opportunity to counsel a couple. I could not believe when they told me the antecedents of their marriage and the level of, of love and passion and friendliness they had. I could not believe that a couple who were disbonded today would be looking for a divorce. I said, what, what was so bad that you want to go out? Man of God, I've said my own. We didn't come here to debate. It's a conclusion we have made. I said, take it easy. There has to be a way. Hmm. Life, ba. If you don't know God, one day you will sit down on the road and say, before life kills me, let me kill myself. When you see people do foolish things, don't think they were born foolish. Are we together? When people go and buy this rat poison, what they call it? And add it to rice and turn it to eat and die. They are not stupid people. There is a way life can push you. Huh? As a lady, when a man has done your traditionals, has done everything, the invitation letter has come out and then he just looks at you and casually says, I don't feel like doing it again. Because somebody told me you are a witch. Go and tell your father they can go with the dowry. I'm gone. At that point, you would think you would smile and say, oh, no problem. What is there? God told you to live my life. You, you will cry and not know what direction to turn to. It is true that life can push you. It is true that life can challenge you. Recently, I had a conversation with a man that broke me. I was going to pray for the man. True story. And the man looked at me and said, Apostle, let me finish the story. He said, as I'm talking to you right now, my beloved wife is in the mortuary. I don't even have the money to go and bury her. I'll not mention tribe, but he comes from a region where burial is not something that comes easy. 
and the man was just smiling i said your wife is dead he said yes sir dead my wife i stood before everybody to exchange vows we agreed to grow old together now she's gone you think they didn't pray to raise that body back the guy i'm talking to you is a born again and tongue talking christian what happens you see i've been to the mortuary many times my brothers and sisters as a man of god you can imagine what happens when people die i've been to the mortuary they have closed me and left me with dead bodies in a mortuary alone why because they believe i'm anointed and i believe i'm anointed and i stood before a dead body that would not listen to me wake up in the name of jesus and the body is looking there are times when life will act like that dead body there are times when your finances will act like that dead body there are times when your marriage can act like that dead body there are times when everything around your life can act like that please listen to me believers when you pray and nothing happens and you pray again and nothing happens and believers agree with you and nothing happens you must know what to do when the devil launches an attack do you know what to do or do you just know that attack is real hallelujah years ago i counseled one of our precious ladies she's no longer here and this lady told me that once a guy looks at her and says i love you i want to go and see your parents that's the end of it a strange being appears to her as usual and that's the end of that relationship if that guy does not get out of her life the things that will get out of his life you will not his finances just like jonah things will begin to leave i can tell you that lady loves god and she's a christian listen if an unbeliever goes through certain things, if it's natural, what happens when a Christian woman is barren? What happens when a Christian man is impotent? What happens when a Christian couple are broke? What happens when a Christian man and his wife and their children are standing in the name of the Lord and there is no roof for them that night? They don't know where they will spend the night yet jesus is still lord over their lives your confidence in god and the spirit of fear that comes upon you a lecturer called me some months ago that he was relieved from his work not not abu here one of the institutions and i said what happened and just some issue that he he truly told me under god now it's not for me to vet the rightness but from as a man of god i can tell you i discern he was true some persons just cooked up one or two things like that and that was it the case had been pending 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 and finally they just threw that man away out no job and the man was telling me say where do i start from there were monies they were supposed to give him nobody's talking about it and everything has gone I confess to you that life can be challenging. I confess to you that when Satan attacks you, he looks powerful because the attack is real. You will see it and sometimes you will wonder, Lord, where were you when this came? But tonight's message is for you. Let's look at a few scriptures. Hmm. John chapter 16 and verse 33. John 16, 33. We are really going to pray tonight. And when it's time to pray, please hold, even if it's prophetically, the hands of your loved ones and everybody you know should be listening to this message and lift them before God as we cry. John chapter 16 
and verse 33. Everyone read with me. One to read. Jesus is speaking. Uh-huh. These things I have spoken unto you. What things? That in me ye might find peace. Why? In the world ye shall have tribulation. Listen. Listen. Jesus is speaking to believers and saying the possibility of tribulation is something that will be part of your experience. That means acclimatize your mind. Do not think it strange when these things happen. He says, be of good cheer. Why? Because I have overcome the world. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. Listen to this message, matured believers. And run away from some of these childish things that continue to give us very aberrated views of life. For our light affliction. Why will you use the word affliction for a Christian? One who is in Christ. One who has sustained victory. The fullness of the spirit. The fullness of the Godhead in Christ resides in him. Paul is speaking and says for our light affliction. Which is but for a moment he says. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. For our light afflictions. So it is not unusual for believers to go through afflictions. Nobody sits and prays for it. But that is for any reason you find that reality around your circumference. Do not think it strange. Rather be equipped with the understanding to deal with it to victory. Are we together now? I will never forget years ago, I was encouraging a gentleman, generally just sharing with him. I told him, I pray for you to get a job, but in case you don't get a job, I was sharing with him certain business ideas, and the guy almost shouted on my face, I, I reject, um, you know, that he rejected the statement I was saying that there will be delay in a job, you know, the Bible says he will not, I, did, I said, no, no, I'm a man of God, I pray, I'm not saying you will be delayed, but I'm saying, if this possibility happens while you wait for that blessing be thinking of this and that i don't mean to embarrass you but till today i'm not aware except if he got it this year but till today he has not gotten a job the same wisdom he would have listened to and his foolishness there is a difference between faith and foolishness they are not the same The same way a matured mother will be mentoring a young lady who is about to get married and get pregnant. And say, we do not, we, we are not discouraging you. But we are just saying that there might be these possibilities. And that if this comes, there is a wisdom way to route it. No, I reject it. I, my, my womb is blessed. Nobody is arguing it. Until life shows you pepper. And then you turn and say, ah, so this thing is like that. A man parked his car and ran to deal with somebody quickly and came out and met space. His car had gone. In the afternoon, broad daylight, the car that was dedicated in church, don't forget, don't forget, almost every church dedicates cars. This car was dedicated in the name of the Lord by a genuine man of God. Genuine oil was poured on it. And now a thief enters and the oil did not seem to do anything. The prophecy didn't seem to do anything. That guy kicked that car and ran away with it. And where were the angels that keep watch? Did the Bible not say that they will bear you up on their wings? What suddenly happened to that man who put a speaker, I am victorious, behind the car that was stolen? What happens when a believer is in church and armed robbers are in the house stealing? Have you not heard this? 
or you don't say it in church, it should not be said, Abby. That you are worshipping God and rolling on the ground. Lord, I give you my heart. And an umbrella breaks your door. And the all-seeing eye of God does not seem to be able to restrain that robber. He enters your house and goes to look for the areas you just collected and carries it and runs away. You share the grace with joy and go back home into a week long of depression. I'm a man of faith. I'm a man that believes in miracles. But I must teach you the reality of navigating through these things in life. I don't mean to embarrass our precious lady, but one of our ladies here, I remember very clearly one time her mother, it was in a, it was in a night vigil. They were praying, not in a party, not in a club. A night vigil. They were praying, lifting up the name of the Lord, fiery prayer. Suddenly a woman stops, drops dead, and dies. That's how the mother died. I remember when that lady called me that night, crying, and saying, Apostle, how can my mother die in the place of prayer? It's the same thing like saying, how can Jesus die? But he died. How can life die? Life died. How can light be dark? Light became dark. Sometimes the unexplainable happens. Like life dying. Like resurrection being grounded on the cross. <laughs> James chapter 1 and verse 1 to 4. I like what this teaching is doing to you. You will thank me tomorrow. Add it to your spiritual arsenals so that you will draw it forth in the days that are rainy days. For some of you, the dark cloud is already before you. And you will need to know this. James, let's go to verse, um, verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Why? Next verse. Knowing this, knowing this. Tell your neighbor, knowing this. There are things you need to know, knowing this. This is your immunity. This is your basis for stability, knowing this. There are things if you don't know, you cannot rejoice in the midst of pain. He says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith Walk at patience. Verse 4. He says, but let patience have her perfect walk. Do you know what this means? Don't interrupt what is happening. Let patience have her perfect walk. That ye might be mature and complete. Wanting or lacking nothing. Jesus told us very clearly. That it's not unusual for believers to be challenged by the gates of hell and then also the bible did not leave us in the dark that the journey of the believer is not just a smooth road that there are mountains and there are valleys in the making of great men in god's kingdom listen very carefully there is a place where the refiner's fire I preached a controversial message years ago on the furnace of affliction. And several people said, don't mind that message. Just believe, you know, and so on and so forth. There is a real experience in a believer's making called the furnace of affliction. I repeat, there is a real experience in the making of men that are as precious as gold called the refiner's fire. It is not the destroyer's fire. It is the refiner's fire. Are we together? Isaiah 43 and verse 1 and 2 says, Fear not, I have redeemed you. It says, I have called you by name. You are mine. Are we together? It says, Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. 
you are mine. It says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. There are times that God will not say, I will be with you. He will say, I will help you. But there are other times he say, I'm there. Just find comfort that I'm there. There's no guarantee that I will put my hand in that process. But be assured that my presence is there. <laughs> and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Now listen, he said when you walk through fire, you don't pass through fire, you walk. There is a roasting process that takes time. There is a separation. You don't put meat around fire and you have something nice. You drop it there, then turn it again. Then turn it back to where you turned before. Then turn it again. And when it is done, people enjoy it. Listen, what do you think the anointing is? Have you found out how oil is made? That the threshing floor is not a place of laughter. That oil does not want to go through that train. Believers, we have been spoon-fed into believing that all it takes is to get born again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to be Apostle Joshua Selman. I want to be Benny Hinn. It is doable. It is achievable. But can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism? That's what Jesus said. Whoever told you there is no cup to drink and whoever told you there is no baptism, Ah, there are times when your prayers will deliberately not be answered. This is not a conventional teaching. Many people say, God forbid, all prayers are answered. I agree. It depends on the level you are seeing from. Because the Bible says there is the heel of the Lord. It says, who shall ascend to the heel of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? There are planes in the spirit. And not every experience is the same at every plane. There are planes that are general experiences. And you can write a theology from that standpoint. But you climb like the eagle to a mountain where the Holy Ghost defeathers you. Have you seen how eagles mount up and renew their wings? They rise to a high altitude and right there by themselves they, they remove the old feather and they are left naked in the cold. And they stand there and then suddenly new feather begins to come out slowly. There are things that the tempo has been preset. It will not be accelerated because of your tears. It was designed to be that slow. If the process hurries too much, you will not learn what you should learn. <laughs> mm. That you are trusting God for money to eat. As soon as 10,000 came, God said, carry 1,000 tight. Carry 1,000 your own. Carry 8,000 my own. Go and sow. And you say, why did it come then? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something to you that breaks the power of mammon in your life. Because what is coming to you, eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. It has not entered the heart of any man. So I need to train you. If 10,000 is difficult for you to receive, and you are shouting, I'm a millionaire. You are joking and flattering yourself. We continue to do these foolish things in church. That's why the world looks at us and says, these people, something is wrong with them. The faith life is not foolishness. People must be educated to understand the pathway. The way to the throne is the cross. You will never, there is no bypass. There is only one line. Man of God, hear me. You admire everyone who speaks under the influence of God's power. Fine. Let me tell you, when the anointing for service comes, it doesn't come as oil, it comes as olive. There is a breaking process that will turn that olive to the oil. It is true. There is a threshing floor in your life that is in the similitude of the threshing floor of Naboth. Where there are things that are threshed there. Unfortunately, it's not wheat, it is you. You are that living sacrifice that must lie there. Hear me. There are times that the things happening in your life can only be interpreted by those who have passed that road. No other believer can see and it can make sense. No. God gives you a rule and says for the next five months, 
I meet with you from 11 to 3 every night regardless of how tired you are and some man of God will tell you no it's not in the word God doesn't do that pray when you need to pray God gave you a will I agree and the man is right he is not wrong but with respect to your training violate that instruction and power will be far from you far from you Show us the ancient paths. Would you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Show us the ancient paths that so many have left would you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of Jesus we want to enter your listen the path to glory does not have laughter as part of the equation except you are laughing by the anointing he that sows in tears a farmer laughing by the farm has not started farming. The size of the instrument alone will take away laughter. But you have to farm. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. There are many people who see every blessed man and just dishonor them. Ah, these young people, they just became rich. Please keep quiet. Find out the cross behind what you see. And then you will know that nobody was dashed well. You see young people with anointing, all these young boys, where did they get it from? Go and find out the pain. Find out what they were doing when you were sleeping. Find out the covenants that they, that they tied themselves with like a rope. All these people who have great ministry, be careful oh, you don't know where they are getting the crowds from. You are joking. You go and find out people's cries and covenants with God. I know a man of God who said when he went to Lagos for the first time, he slept under the bridge. He was not a poor man. God instructed him to give everything he had. He got to Lagos and slept under the bridge like a fool. Imagine if you were his relative and you saw him. He said, sorry, uncle, what are you doing here? He said, God sent me. Imagine that it was your daughter that kind of man married. Won't you carry your daughter back home? But today everybody celebrates him. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, do not think it unusual when you are following the path of champions. It's a lonely road. Did you hear what I said? Do not think it unusual. I speak to you. There are many men and women of God here. You thought by now you will start a church. You are surprised you are still on, tra on training. There are others who are jumping classes and running around. Leave them home and stay quietly with God. Because there is a making. Huh. Making. Ask a coach how a champion is built. The coach will subject that person through exercises. The person will run. The person will cry. Coach, I am tired. And the coach will say, no, this is not you. The version of you I seek to produce is not the you I'm seeing. Sometimes when God pushes you, it's proof of his confidence in you. Others got there and God said, no, they've reached the elastic limit. But for you, he says, no, I know what I put in you. Let's push a little more. There are certain levels of glory that have been waiting for who will push to this level. Everybody stopped here. You can't, don't, don't disappoint me. Push a little further. On one side, believers can be attacked. But on another side, without an attack, the default design of the pathway to glory requires, like pilgrim's progress, there are mountains to climb. Listen very carefully. There are valleys to follow. There are times you will sleep in the desert. There are times you will not know where you are going. You will just keep going and hope you are right. Hmm. 
we didn't come this far by luck we didn't come this far by chance it is true we came by grace but grace that was not abused it is not grace that did the work grace empowered us to comply behind every glory are tears and blood sleepless nights and sacrifices as any great man champions hear me being a champion is not just a confession ask a pregnant woman when she gives birth to the baby like our dear one here who gave birth and we're all rejoicing but ask her how it was right now you are carrying something that others are not carrying don't expect them to understand you if everybody around you understands you it's a sign that you are not going anywhere there are times only God can understand you let me tell you there are times only God can understand you while others are sleeping the Holy Ghost takes away sleep from you he giveth his beloved sleep but from you he took it so that you will wake up and you are walking around your house and crying Lord what is the name of what you are doing with me he calls it refining Lord what is the name of what you are doing with my life is this how useless my life is going to be you have honored other people look at what you are doing at least show me where I'm going let me be convinced that you are leading me and he says the seeming confusion is part of the process so that I teach you that you don't have to understand me to follow me there are times that it's in your obedience that understanding comes Lord if you don't show me where I'm going I will not follow you will never get to the place of destiny there are times you start that journey far before it later makes sense come out of AI of the Chaldeans to a land that I will show you I don't give you no vision for it keep moving carry your child along because you will kill him sooner or later These are messages you will not hear in the church again. It's not all about receive. It's not all about be a champion. The anointing does not work like that. There is stability. I show you the way of champions. I show you the way of the ancient. I show you the, the way to build stamina where you are given the keys of territories. To him that endures to the end that will give a crown and a white stone, he said. Please don't let anybody deceive you. If it is that cup, you must drink of it. If it's that baptism, you will be baptized. If it has not started, it will start. So I'm teaching you so that you will understand that when everything in your life looks strange and God says, empty your account. When you were a baby Christian, you emptied your account and in 24 hours times 10 came. So you took that mindset to rush and say, ah, if it's God, I know he's Jehovah Sharp Sharp. I agree, but not for your training. Sharp Sharp will be when you are on stage. Then you prophesy to someone and he gets a miracle alert. But I tell you, not during your training, you will get no miracle alert. What you will get is the faith to endure. I shared with you my story. Today I pray and people receive breakthroughs. I shared with you years ago, when out of hunger, I took a step of faith and joined a queue in First Bank, believing that miracle alert will come. This miracle alert thing didn't just start now. It was built in the spirit. So then death works in us, that life will work in you. Whatever you die to is what you give life to people in. Let me tell you, this is how it works. You have never been disappointed forget about carrying the power of god now it's not for children you must taste of this cup called shame you must taste of this cup called embarrassment till your ego is drained like a transfusion from someone and the life that i now live 
It is no longer about if you are not healed, I'm not a man of God. No, your ego is gone. It went with the training. You started the ministry with ego. So every time you want to pray for the sick, your reputation is there. And he said, young man, you can't do ministry that way. It is not about the result. It is about my glory. It is painful to be approved of God. This is why you stand and run your mouth over people that God approved. You will be surprised what happens to you. It's true you are a believer, but you will know that everyone is not the same. Let no man trouble me, he said, for I bear in my body. I'm speaking to men and women inside and outside here. You are in these defining moments and I must tell you what is happening in your life. Because if you are not careful, you will run around and meet people and they will say, no, um, it's because you don't have faith. No, I show you the way of power. Let me tell you this. Listen, listen. I don't claim to know everything about the faith life. I am just an effective member of the body. But I tell you this. When I teach people on how the anointing is made, and I teach people how men are made, it's an office. I don't teach you cunningly devised fables. I'm like a lecturer that has been teaching this for a long time. You ignore what I tell you is to your own peril. That which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have handled. The keys of nations will not be given to you just because you prayed. There is blood that must touch that altar. And not some. Everything. It must be drained till you are empty. Your tears will not stop him. Not even your fears. You get to a point where all your fears happen to you. And there's nothing else to fear. You have come out of the realm. Not by escapism. I'm afraid. One of the ways boldness is given to you. Is what you fear is brought before you. So that you no longer can fear. God shows you your fear right before you. You pray that he takes it away but you pass through it. And there's no longer fear. This is the making of men. This is the threshing floor of Naboth. This is how the great are made in this kingdom. Apostle, I'm called into the ministry of kingdom finance. I think all I need is just a seminar and some impartation. <laughs> you are joking. You are even the one who will need to die more than a preacher. Because mammon is a spirit that God even recognized. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Take him to a mountain. God, is this the price to be the father of nations? I'm not interested. What is that? I wait for a child for 25 years and you ask me to hand him over. Yes, sir. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over, over, take 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 over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself, hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself, hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Listen, listen to me. I got to a point in my life where God so dealt with me, it was like there was no life again. That you get to a point where 
You don't know the name of your life or destiny again. No name. You are like Cain. And the more I kept moving like the wind, I didn't know that's how spiritual men are. Because it says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it's going or where it's coming. So is one who is led by the Spirit of the Lord. I truly wanted the power of God in my life. And I prayed. I said, Lord, please give me power. I thought the answer would be a bed that would land on my head. And you say, son, from this day, I have given you power. Power to open doors that no man can shut. You are joking. Power to speak over nations? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Those keys are hidden in your scars. You keep them there. Oh, I apologize if you don't like what I'm teaching you tonight. But this meeting is for the great. Because I see that season coming again. It's like a cycle. And a season comes when there is a new recruitment. A new recruitment. It's always like that. And then the ones that have been recruited, God starts working with them. After some years, he says, now there is a, an opening again. That can scare me, that can scare me, cause I know I'm dead already. In my reason, in my seasons, I cry out, this is the end of me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah listen please listen to me not every negative thing happening to you is demonic is of the devil N not every negative thing will answer to prayer there are certain things where it is the grace of God that will be sufficient for you. There are times in my life I fasted and fasted. I didn't know the difference between being full and being empty. This is our generation. We, we truly have this honor. Truly have this honor. Please don't just see every young man you are seeing and believe that just because they are young, it means that they were given certain things as a dash. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There were nights when everyone would be sleeping. I would be on the roof of vet medicine in ABU. The roof of it in the night. From night till morning that roof seeing visions and revelations but staying there in that cold with mosquitoes just a little inconvenience and people begin to complain you are talking of giving some seed I never had the opportunity to spend my scholarship once once it was a sacrifice before it arrived. So when today someone says, Apostle, give me your phone, let me send you money. Please, there is a track record. Let's honor the pain of people. Let's honor the pain of people. Man of God, the anointing is for the taking. Grace is for the taking. The pride that we have just because of our one one or two two hours prayer <laughs> I will never forget times when I would lock myself for three days my eyes will not see the Sun I don't know whether it's day or night I don't know whether it's nine o'clock or ten o'clock no sleep with these eyes open praying 
from morning till night, morning till night, morning till night. Shakatakata. Lord, expand this vessel. Expand this vessel. Let me be a, a conduit of your power. That was a prayer. Not for myself. Lord, for your glory. Let it please you that I will be used as a vessel. And one day God vowed a vow and said, My son, I give you my presence as a gift. There is a threshing floor in the life of every believer. Please hear me. I'm addressing those who are being attacked and those who are going through seasons they do not understand. Do not think that it is demonic. Please sit down and give me a few minutes. And then we are going to pray tonight. Let me get back again to those who have been attacked and show you a few keys. It applies to everybody. But please write this down. I remember praying years ago and I said, Lord, why is it that when I speak, nothing happens? I read the Bible and I saw in the life of Peter that while Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him, not all they that believed in him. If your ears could hear Peter, the Holy Ghost will come to you. I said, Lord, why don't I see this in my life? not for pride and God let me know that everything in the kingdom is yours for the taking but there are dimensions not all things are possible at every level there are real dimensions number one the first key that I will give you to minister comfort tonight Overflow one. I'm seeing lights all over overflow one. This is what I'm seeing. Lights. I'm seeing an impartation. Lights, 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 just like like thunder, like lightning. Light. I believe it's an impartation. Just overflow one. Just caught my attention. In the name of Jesus Christ. That which God has in store. Let it come upon you in Jesus' name. Number one. The first key that you need to survive these seasons, whether a season of attack or a season of pruning and dealing and refining. Number one, never lose your joy. Please never lose your joy. In this kingdom, joy is strength. Never, never lose your joy. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Please write quickly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Not always. Always as you go. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I repeat. Rejoice. Joy. Joy is of the Holy Ghost though. Joy is not just clownish laughter. You don't have to laugh to be in joy. Lord, I don't know the name of what you are doing, but I rejoice. I rejoice, I rejoice, I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. Mm. True joy will come in form of a melody on your lips. A melody that does not make sense. Sometimes a melody that mocks your situation, still sing it. Joy. Joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. Popular scripture. But many of you don't know where it is in the Bible. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. It says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. That the joy of the Lord, that means when you lack strength in this kingdom, what you lack is joy. In the physical world, when you lack energy, you are given food. Is that true? In the realm of the spirit, when you lack joy, 
I mean when you lack strength what you are given to eat is joy sometimes God does not give you the solution he gives you joy 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 he said count it all joy count it all joy the shame yes sir the pain yes sir the no admission yes sir the disappointed meeting that I called people and I said sick people come and at the end nobody was healed and that you went back home and somebody sent a text and said next time be a serious man of God before you call us the Bible says, count it all joy it comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes alive every time I hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sorrows that surrounds me and this joy that I have only comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes, it comes alive every time I hear your voice. Can you watch your car on fire? Your 2.5 or 3.5 million, and you stand and say to God, Be the glory, great things He has done. Can you watch your job and you stand at the gate of your office? It was once yours, but now no longer yours. And say in it, oh God, I give you glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? Can you stand before a corpse and you are looking at a dead body that you fasted for days to come back to life? And you say, in spite of it, oh God, with the tears coming from my eyes, I still give you glory. I thought the dead body would come back to life. But now I have prayed. I give you glory. Never lose your joy. Let nothing in this life steal your joy. Not lack of money. Not lack of a child. Please listen to me. This gloominess we carry around is cheating us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Make up your mind to rejoice in the Lord. Why are you rejoicing and crying? I'm crying because of the reality of my pain but I rejoice because joy brings harvest you will sow in tears but you will reap in joy not with joy in joy if there is no joy there is no harvest number two what do you do in these seasons engage in strategic prayer listen the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making, they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis. They are seasons of prayer and intercession. That's not the time to pray morning and evening. That's the time to pray anyhow and anytime because you are in a season. Your anchor will be your prayer. hallelujah day and night you are praying lord i don't know what is happening to my life but i'm praying you have your prayer time in the morning you have your prayer time in the evening but every time is prayer time every time is prayer time an evil report your wife just lost her child what are you doing i am praying why i'm in a season is any man afflicted James chapter 5 and verse 13 let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call God names and say I will backslide let him pray Psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part 
and we will pray. Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from what? All my fears. Next verse. We are reading to four. To seven. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Six. The poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of how many? All his troubles. Last verse. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. Prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons, but especially this season. Lord, what is happening around my life? My wife just got attacked. My son just got attacked. My job just got attacked. I am not understanding what is happening. I set myself like Daniel onto prayer. God grants you grace. You can add with fasting. Add with fasting. This spiritual laziness of eating anyhow, anytime. Many believers now fast as a ceremony. Three days fasting, you carry it on your head as if, you, as if it's, it's 12 years fasting. If you love food more than your destiny, life will cheat you again and again. Food is okay, oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones, you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it. There are many of you here, you cannot remember. I may be wrong, I'm not saying you should do it. Please, I'm not saying you should do it. But as far as I'm concerned, there are spiritual levels that if you get to, a week should never pass that you did not fast. You are joking. You are joking. Not with what you are doing to hell. You are joking. Seven days. Ah, no. Himarama. 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 To the king who sits on the throne. Himarama to the king. Listen, let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep. Real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise. Real men of power contact power when men sleep. May God give you the grace to rise above sleep. I'm praying from the... May God give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you. That God can wake you up in the night. No light off the light you are praying don't allow distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light you are in the night alone and watch what happens you are nobody seeing what you are doing but there is a register every day you are signing it is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. You don't come on stage and talk nonsense. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Rose of this and that and that. God is not a scammer. He's not a magician. No track record in the secret place. You will flatter yourself to nothing in, in the open. Please learn to pray in the night. 
Learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Receive grace to dedicate night times and pray. God didn't give you a house just to keep things. Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. A time will come, you'll feel like just leaning. Get up and say, Satan, you are a liar. I'm going far. A time will come, your tongues begin to change. What you are saying, it will never be what you started with. You, are, you, you have entered a level in the spirit. Tongues are languages and there are levels of power contact. Groanings that cannot be uttered. You get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray. There are times that only one word, one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes. Pray it. You are receiving power. Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Sekas kaparakatos, embrekete keleka takatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch. My brother and my sister, if you pray from your heart, some things will shift. You will wake up in the morning and know I shifted this through prayer. There are attacks that only prayer can challenge. Pray for me, pray for me is wonderful. But you must become the priest of your destiny. Can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salabakata. Senakandas kamahasabash. Rakata bakato sopakoto sheketele kata. Emprata seneketo shanikata. Tasete shanahas kabaratos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. 
I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. to the king who sits on the throne Imarama to the king who sits on the throne Eshenabalara Ele 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 Ekata prakatos kala kata prasada kata haruse sene keto shala toske mahasa. War to them who are is in Zion. War to them who are is in Zion. Through the king who sits upon the white horse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen, strengthen. Prayer is a strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Next verse. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity. Next verse. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts. We are reading till the last verse. As for such as turn aside in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace upon Joshua Selman. Prayer gives you stability. In the next two, three minutes, you are going to pray and say, Lord, let this prayer stabilize me. I shouldn't be shaking over everything. I should be able to laugh at certain storms and say, Jesus is Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Stability, power, stamina. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Stability, O oh God. Stability, O oh God. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, 
your strength is small your strength is small give me capacity endurance stamina the grace to pass through for the sake of my family the grace to pass through for the sake of my generation the grace to pass through for the sake of my my loved ones be strong be strong be strong be strong in the Lord don't be weak be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might be strong in the Lord Koinonia be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord don't entertain weakness be strong in the Lord you are not the weak ones you are strong hallelujah the third key I will give you tonight number one never lose your joy number two engage in strategic prayer and intercession number three prophesy the power of the spoken word there is no greater time in your life to engage the creative power of God's word than when things just go haywire. The power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28 numbers 14 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears so will i do unto you there are times that you don't just pray. You pray till the spirit of prophecy comes on you. When it does come, you speak. He said, prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. All dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, prophesy. There are times you need to prophesy. There are times you need to speak. Psalms 138 and verse 8. Very powerful scripture. Psalms 138 and verse 8. Please give it to us quickly. We are going to pray. The Lord will perfect that which concerned me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of my own hands. You lift it in prayer. I prophesy and I declare. The Lord is perfecting everything concerning me i declare that i come out victorious the bible declares that goodness and mercy follow me you don't just cry and say hey yeah so is this how my life is going to be this is what i've become now no sir nothing moves till you prophesy i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound you see that's why it is important for a believer to be full of god's word if you are scripture bankrupt you will not know what to say prophecy is not just when god reveals something like word of knowledge you can take the word of god and begin to create possibilities it's important to know the word it's important to know the word when it looks like things around you are not working you go to psalm 3 many are they that rise up against me Many are they which say, where is your God? He says, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It's unfortunate for believers who don't know the word. You must trust God for grace to sit down and gather relevant scriptures that address the issue of concern and stand up like the priest that you are 
put those words in the lips of faith like Kenyon would say and begin to release them with true supernatural power the Lord is my light and salvation the Lord is my light and salvation I reject confusion in my life I hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk in it this is how to pray is someone ready to pray listen to me there are many of us who have gotten to the stage in our seasons where it is our prophecy that will bring the morning if you don't prophesy nothing will happen is someone ready to pray if you don't know what to say go and hold the hands of someone who knows what to say and agree with them lift your voice and begin to speak there has to be a scripture that you know it shall keep them in perfect peace whose minds are stayed towards him many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered him from them all from them all from them all and I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. It will give them beauty for ashes, joy for the spirit of mourning, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord and he shall be glorified behold I do a new thing shall ye not know it I make a way even in the wilderness streams in the desert the Lord shall perfect all that concerns me All the days of my appointed time, I wait till my change comes. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. So said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I am the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. I shall lay up gold as dust. Even the gold of Ophir. Gentiles come to my light. They are kings even to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I received double. Elas kabarandes kalapro oshoda bahasi. But my head shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil, fresh oil. Fresh oil, blessed in my going out, blessed in my coming in, blessed is the work of my hands, my kneading trough, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. My seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. And my righteousness endures forever. Pray. Pray. You are not just speaking, you are creating. Declare thou that ye might test be justified. For by your words you are justified. And by your words you are condemned. 
you are bringing before God your strong reasons. Above only, above only, above only, above only, above only in the name of Jesus, above only, above only, a sign and a wonder, a testament of the grace of God, a testament of the favor of God, a testament of the hand of God, a testament of the mercy of God. Palabaroto segetele mahasabadia. Though weeping endures for a night, joy comes with the morning. Prophesy joy in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 32, Genesis chapter 32. The Bible says Jacob wrestled with God and he said leave me for the day breaketh he says I will not let you go unless listen unless you bless me here's how God blessed him what is your name what is your identity what have people known you with I'm about to change it that's how I bless you if I've blessed you truly, it means something they used to say about you. A proverb should no longer be heard. What is your name? And he said, Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Why? For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. We are going to pray. Father, change my name in this season listen change my name means change my experience change my name means change the proverb let this proverb not be used about me again that god cannot show him mercy that god cannot lift my family let this proverb change like father like son no sir open your mouth and cry change my name change my story and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Jabez, the mother called him Jabez, named him in sorrow. But Jabez was angry. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Enlarge my coast. Is someone praying? Lord, change my financial name. Change my ministerial name. Change my marital name. Change my destiny name. Out of the abundance of your mercy. By the encounter I've had with you. Change my name. Change my story. Change my name. Give me a testimony. Shut the mouths of the wicked. Prove once again that you are God and that by yourself. Please pray. God answers prayers. Give me a new name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. The Bible says he touched the hollow. Of his tie and it became twisted Lord may I never depend on my strength it says trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and lean not on your own understanding it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path the next verse says do not be wise in your own understanding 
but fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You are going to pray. Lord, I've trusted my certificate. I've trusted my connection. I've trusted my beauty. I've trusted my spirituality. But tonight I take my eyes away from all of this. As advantageous as they are, they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. I look to you and to you alone. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. We are praying. I take my eyes away from man. It is true that my blessings come through men. But my eyes are fixed on you. Is someone praying? We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Like the brazen serpent that Moses made, he said, Whoever looks to that serpent, the real one will not strike at him. Vain is anything that you put your strength on. So, Jacob, I see you stable without me. I touch your point of stability so that you will be ever dependent on me. The last prayer point. He said he blessed him and the sun arose. Until then it was night. The war happened in the night. The weeping happened in the night. But then he says the sun arose and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, the face of God. He says for I have seen God face to face. When Moses saw the face of God, he returned back with a testimony. Is someone ready to pray? Lord, let the sun arise. It is true that weeping endures for a night, but I believe I'm standing at the dawn of my morning. Lift your voice and prophesy. Let my sun arise. Sun arise. Financial sun arise ministerial son arise the encounter is over the lessons have been learned the impartations have been received therefore night time be turned today night time be turned today Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We're rounding up. Let me tell you three things that come into your life when you break through with God. Number one, strange dimensions of favor. 
there is a there is a an unusual degree of favor is God's signature he writes it upon your life that the training for this phase has come to an end you have been approved he uses favor dimensions of doors you never dreamt opening I can tell you this happens it doesn't matter how the night is that when your day breaks you will see favor that will bring you to your knees when I talk of favor I'm not talking money I'm talking of the hearts of kings and nobles money is very small God will take the hearts of kings and nobles and give you it will be like a charm you will call on a man and nations will respond you have become Beulah and Hephzibah the delight number two genuine authentic spiritual power genuine spiritual power not trial and error not like God will come not like God will move something solid upon you provable genuine spiritual power you speak the purposes of God to men's lives and you will shift lives overnight. Power, power, power. Number three, the third thing that happens to you when you stand with God is that God multiplies both your spiritual and your physical influence he increases the reach of the grace he has put upon your life yes sir yes sir every man is limited by the jurisdiction a portion for his grace to function there are men who can stand from anywhere and speak over nigeria it doesn't matter the grace given to them and the expansion they have attained unto in the spirit covers that sphere. Elijah stood in one place and spoke over an entire land. There were times when Jesus had to leave one land to enter another land to pray for a person. What was the reward of the five, two, and one talent? Greater territory, greater influence in the spirit. When kings conquered certain lands, they had increased territory. America is called America today because it's the unity of many states. One American state can be three times Nigeria. One state. Are we together now? Yes. It's why it's called United States of America. In Nigeria, you can pass through a state in 30 minutes. And there are times in the states you will fly for hours from one state to the other. There is no state that is more than one hour, ten minutes. My Duguri to Lagos is the farthest distance. One hour, ten minutes exactly you are there. But you will fly for hours. That is the reason why whoever sits as the president of that territory must be respected by every devil whether they like it or not it is the reason why the american president is the number one president because there are many in one state is the destiny of many nations the per capita income of just one state will swallow up many african countries so when god expands your sphere dimensions where your grace would not reach now you can speak from one place and they can hear from home before you had to go home for them to hear but now god has expanded your influence and they say won't you come again you say no problem he has upgraded the grace for i am also a man under authority right from where i am i can say to one come and he cometh go and he goeth it's like a ranking in the spirit. One of my old secondary school classmates 
my father got to meet with him recently and now he's a major in the army I think at the threshold of the next rank what's the next rank after, after major lieutenant colonel yes I think soon that's what they are going to give him he used to be a fearful chicken like young guy I remember when they take us from Joss to go to our school he would start crying even before we go out of Joss I never cried once to leave home it was a delight and a pleasure to get out that guy was so girlish and feminine I wondered but that guy today is a major sometimes he would stand and do some things you know he could see a roach cockroach and you know how ladies would jump but today he can tell me kneel down hands up you civilian except for the fact that when I sent thee lackest thou anything can we spend two minutes to pray? Let's pray the prayer of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Please lift your voice and pray. Enlarge me, O God. Take away the spirit of smallness from my life. It doesn't give you glory that I remain small. Not after an encounter with you. Not after seasons, defining moments with you. Pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. That thou wouldest expand, enlarge my territory. Pray for koinonia. Pray for your business. Lord, enlarge my territory. He said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us move beyond the Jordan. Please pray God is hearing you. You're not wasting your time. It has been said no one rose beyond certain levels in your family. But can you pray the prayer of Jabez? Expand my territory, oh God. I will go where the fathers have not gone. I will eat the milk and the wine of Canaan. I will not die in the wilderness. He did not bring me from Egypt to leave me in the wilderness. There is a land that flows with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. You don't have to come out. But I want to pray specially for people in this place tonight. You just sense in your life that there seems to be a fierce attack on your life. This is not just a dealing with God. This one you know is demonic. It's like all hell breaking loose over you, over your family, over your spiritual life, over whatever it is, your business. I want to pray for you and I want you to believe. It is for this cause that the Lord says to not neglect the gathering of the brethren because it's an opportunity for a supply of his power. Even when your seasons come to the end, there has to be a man. He said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. I want to pray for such people. Suddenly your prayer life just went down. You come fast from 6 to 6. By 11 you are almost collapsing. You can't even breathe. It's an attack. As a man of God, you found out that it looks like you opened the Bible and your page is empty. You are not seeing anything again. Every verse looks confusing. Every. Something is wrong. 
Strange attack on your church. Members are suddenly leaving. Everybody is suddenly hating you. People you have labored to raise in the gospel are now turning against you. It's an attack. You used to prophesy correctly. But now you just found out that you entered a season of nonsense. Everything you say is not correct. Word of knowledge, not correct. Your prophecy, not correct. It's an attack. It doesn't mean you are wrong. It means the devil is attacking your credibility so that you will no longer be trusted. Finances. You are a hard-working, diligent person. All of a sudden, it looked like holes came in your pocket. All doors just closed. No destiny helper again. Even those who promised to help you, it's as if something turned their backs against you. It's an attack, my brothers and my sisters. You need to pray. All of a sudden, your children started becoming something else. People you have labored and trained. They now no longer listen to you. You say A, they say B. You say keep quiet, they tell you to keep quiet. Something is wrong. Strange, devilish dreams. Nightmares. You can't dare lie down on your bed to sleep. Here they come. Pressing you, molesting you attacking you it will take the grace of god to struggle yourself to wake up it's an attack what of reports from home you are enjoying the glory of god just about to take a nice step they just call you they pay you some areas that you are trusting god to just use and buy a small land and you hear an attack that someone needs chemotherapy or, or whatever it is and they need to spend 35 to 100,000 every week. And it is you they are depending on. Say Devora. Say it again. Say Devora. I say Devora. Because you don't do it. Everybody says you are a wicked young man who is allowing your father or mother to die. And you pay 70, 70,000 in, in five or six weeks. Your money is gone. There are many ways believers can be attacked. And I pray for you. I don't know who is in that category. But I believe the Lord put this meeting tonight. You don't have to kneel. Just believe. Believe. Mm. Jesus, the Son of God. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Father, you have anointed me for the sake of your people. And I bring before you, O oh God, the thousands of people in this place thousands and millions others from around the world who are being fiercely attacked by the devil and his cohorts in an attempt to corrupt your testimony over their lives i bring before you families that have been fiercely attacked businesses fiercely attacked destinies marriages spiritual lives ministries churches and by that attack your people have been discouraged they have been exhausted and frustrated tonight in the name of jesus i decree and declare that every spirit responsible for this attack by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, we crush the works of darkness now. Yeah. Pay attention, I'm praying for you. I decree and declare that if this is as a result of territorial covenants, activities of ancestry, 
that authorize darkness to launch attacks over lives over churches over ministries over individuals mysterious diseases that you had no part in i pray by the god of heaven tonight let there be liberty for you let there be liberty for you let there be liberty for you i challenge suicidal spirits over this territory of zaria the spirits that cause young people to kill themselves and waste their lives in the name that is above all names we command that spirit is banished from this territory the spirit of discouragement the spirit of exhaustion in the name of jesus we declare be gone now and forever he says the lord shall deliver you from six things yea, seven things and one of it is the scourging tongues of men the scourging tongues pronouncements work my brothers and my sisters some of you acted in a way and manner that out of anger some men of god opened their mouths under the influence of the grace god gave them and they made utterances concerning your destiny like elisha some of you laughed at certain men of god and they made utterances and there are things devouring you you cannot explain listen there are some of you his parents maybe be, before you now started to be serious with god you talk nonsense to parents and they looked at you and said may your children do the same thing for you you would think they were just joking the realm of the spirit is a legal realm believe it or not whether you believe it or not doesn't change that reality the scourging tongues like a scourge a scourge is a whip a cane that the, that the mouth of a man can become a whip over a man's destiny it takes people to speak also over your life there are some of you maybe you were in certain churches and you ran your mouth against men of god laboring in the spirit either because of their weaknesses because of their mistakes you open your mouth some of you maybe even insulted them directly and like noah they got up from their sleep and cursed you and said a servant of servants shall you be he said god forbid it will not happen but it's happening and you are seeing it yes ago i remember a man who i think he said something against bishop oyedeko and bishop oyedeko cursed him and he you know laughed it over and believed it will not happen and for the next few years of that man's life things went down until he went for prayer and a true prophet of god said ah i'm trying to bless you and i'm seeing that that blessing is not coming something you have offended a man of god he said to go and if you can apologize to him you may not have time to do all of that but that prayers need to be offered otherwise you will be surprised how long that thing will remain on your head there are things in your life that should not go wrong something is making it go wrong exactly what the blessing does is what a cause does in the negative hallelujah the anointing is two-sided it blesses and it judges I want to pray for you because I believe that sometimes this our generation need the prayer of mercy we have abused and insulted men of God some of us with the young revelations we have we have insulted every father of faith called them all kinds of names insulted our reverence in the Orthodox churches our priests 
in our Catholic churches, you know, Presbyterian churches, just because we are filled with the Holy Ghost. We laughed at them in sarcasm and made nonsense statements. And God had it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray again. The Bible declares that a curse causeless shall not stand. But the Bible also declares that your mercy overrides judgment. I stand, O oh God, by the privilege of your grace. And I stand in advocacy for your people. That in any way we have become victims of the scourging tongues of men. Let the mercy of God let the blood of jesus that speaks better things than the blood of abel tonight let it speak on behalf of our lives let it speak on behalf of our families let it speak on behalf of our businesses let it speak on behalf of our ministries in the mighty name of jesus christ therefore i decree and declare that any pronouncement on the life of anyone causing destruction by the blood of the eternal covenant from today let it be lifted from off your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ lastly let me pray for those who it is not an attack from the devil they are just seasons you are passing through that is refining you to be as gold Father, I pray you are not careful when it comes to making men. You have standards that cannot be bent. And Lord, some of these standards we, we admit that in our humanity they are hard. They are standards that will stretch us from every dimension. Therefore, Lord, for the sake of your people, listening following from around the world and even here who are passing through seasons of pruning and training and building let grace be supplied tonight let strength be supplied tonight let hope be supplied tonight i decree and declare like a faithful soldier you will pass through it and emerge as gold that out of this season of training will come great anointings, great ministries, great destinies. Let the character God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the discipline God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the spirituality God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. Let the endurance God seeks to birth, let it be birthed. In the name of Jesus Christ, stamina for you to endure the mockery of men. Stamina for you to endure the sacrifices you will have to make. And I declare that at the end of it, God will write his signature upon your life. You will be a possessor of something divine, and something powerful. In the name of Jesus lord we thank you for tonight's teaching that as simple as it came we place an anointing upon it let it minister to your people at the points and the seasons that they will need it in the name of jesus particularly to your precious people in this ministry in the name of jesus there will be testimonies of the wonder working power of this teaching we give you all the glory and all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus a big, big hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Very quickly, before I take the announcement, a few minutes, I feel very fulfilled teaching what I taught tonight because it's in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Please listen. All the overflows inside the main auditorium there are people here who are saying apostle i've been waiting for you to make an altar call because i cannot leave this place tonight without totally 
handing everything over to Jesus. There are people here and we need to honor that decision. You are outside, listen. You are inside, please. You are saying, man of God, I need Jesus and I need him fast. I need him now. Others, you are rededicating your life. Wherever you are, I hope the space will be enough. Please make your way quickly. Let's clap for them as they come. Be bold, stand up, and make your way to the front. There are people coming from outside. Please allow them to come and clear the way for them quickly. Are there people in here? God bless you. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they come. Nothing to be ashamed of. You're coming from outside. Please run. Come and stand right here. He's giving you a new beginning. Apostle, what if they see me? Don't mind them. You are standing before Jesus Christ. Please keep coming. Keep coming. I'm not sure if I'm born again. I'm not sure if I'm a child of God. I just like the things of God. Join them. Join them and let there be that assurance once and for all tonight. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Quickly, please. Young, old. We take the issue of salvation very, very seriously. Jesus said, ye must be born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. If there are still people coming, please quickly, they can come and join. But I appreciate every one of you. It takes a lot of courage to come and stand here. And I salute you for making this decision. Let me request that you lift your right hand and pray passionately after me. Just repeat after me. But do this from the depth of your heart and with understanding. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. Tonight... I receive your life. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that Jesus is my Lord, is my Savior, is my friend. From today, the grace to walk in victory is mine. I declare that I'm a child of God from now and forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Father, for these ones. You have brought them by your spirit. The Bible declares that as many as will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. Receive these ones and empower them to live victorious lives. Let tonight not be an emotional decision. Let it truly be a decision that will move them from one dimension of glory to another in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I salute you for this great decision. Praise the Lord. May I please request that you just walk down the aisle. Just turn every one of you. There's a lady waving her hands. I would want you to please move this way in concert. They will lead you to a group of people who will talk to you very briefly on our behalf. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekato Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the Kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.